What is going on guys? Welcome back to the C++ tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to talk about switch case statements. So let us get right into it. So the switch case statement is just an additional decision-making structure in C++. So in the last video, we talked about if else and what happens when we do if else statements. So first of all, we have if then some condition in the parentheses above. And if that condition is true, so it's a Boolean value in the end. So whatever we write in there, a comparison, a function, whatever it is, if it returns a Boolean value, it can be put into that parent into those parentheses there. If the return value of that is true, we're going to execute this block of code here. Otherwise, we're going to go into the else block. And of course, we can also have else if with other conditions and so on. We already talked about that in the last video. And now we're going to introduce switch case statements. And for those of you who only code in Python or, or have only coded in Python, you probably don't know about, uh, about switch case statements because they're not supported in Python. And how they work is you have to pass either an integer or a character, so a char, to that switch case structure, and then you can define cases for the value. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say we have uh, some integer, I don't know, x, and it has a certain value, or actually let's, let's uh, say it's a user input. What we can then do is we can say switch x, and then we can just specify certain cases. For example, one case could be x is eight. And if x is eight, we use a colon here and you, uh, we use indentation here. Um, if the case eight happens, so if the case eight is uh, the case that we have right now, so if the value of x is eight, then we can do something. For example, I don't know, see out uh, the value was eight or something. And then we can break. So we always need to end a case with a break because otherwise, if we don't uh, end the case with a break, it's just going to continue into the next case. And we can specify a bunch of cases here, like 10, for example, and we can say something else here. I don't know, do the action for input 10, just have to define whatever we want to do here. And when we're done with the code, we specify a break statement again. And then we can also specify so called default statement, which is essentially, if the input was not eight, and was not 10, and not one of the other case options that we can define here, we're going to go to the default value, which is something uh, like everything else, essentially, and we can define an action here, stuff like uh, invalid input, for example. And then we can break this as well. So now when we run this, you can see what this does. And we can enter something like zero, for example, it says invalid input, we can enter eight, and we get the value was eight, and we can also enter 10, do the action for input 10. Now, in this case, this is not really useful. So we're going to change this right now into a simple calculator, we're going to build a simple calculator here, we're going to say int n1 and two for number one, number two, and then we are going to say character operator. And now we're going to say C out, enter the first number. And this is it, then we're going to say enter the second number. And in between, we're going to say, choose an arithmetic operation. And of course, we're going to ask for the inputs respectively. There you go. And then we can go ahead and say switch. And we can pass the operator. So switch op case one, the operator that was specified is the addition operator. If that is the case, we're going to return uh, n1 plus n2. break. And we can now copy this here for all the individual operators. So we can say for minus for subtraction, for multiplication, for division, and last but not least, and also for the modulus operator. So for the remainder, and don't confuse this with a percentage operation, by the way, and otherwise, if we get something else than those five operators, we're going to say 
operator not support it. There you go. Break. All right. So this is the full structure here and it should work already. So let's try it. Enter the first number. Let's say I want to say 22 times 88. And this is the result. Then let's do something else. Let's say six modulus or modulo uh, four. We get two as a result. Then I can say 88 divided by five. And of course, maybe it makes a little bit more sense to make this a float so that we can do division properly. So let's recompile this. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, okay, we cannot use the modulus operation here, but we can typecast this into an integer here if we're calling the modulus operation. And then it should work. So now I can go ahead and say 88 divided by seven, for example. Oh, sorry, this was not the right thing. 88 divided by seven. And you can see that we got a floating point result. At the same time, I can do the modulus operation. So I can say um, 17 modulus three, and I get two. And I can also go ahead and say 17.65 modulus 3.5. Eight, nine, but what's actually happening since I'm typecasting is 17 modulus three. So I'm getting the same result here. As you can see, this is how you can do a simple calculator. Uh, and of course you can do this with if else statements as well. So you can just say if operator equals equals plus, then do this otherwise else if, if it equals this, but this is just more convenient uh, for the switch variable. You can only use characters and integers. You cannot use anything else. You cannot use floats, doubles, or more complex objects or structures. Um, but as you can see, this is a way more convenient way to, to go through the different options. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, make sure you subscribe to this channel and you hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.